guys. There's been a lot of questions regarding how do you add custom content into your Sims 4 Creative Sim demo? Well, this is a video that will answer your question. First, the first step you need to do is find your Electronics Arts folder. This will be located in your documents. If you cannot find it there, search for it in your computer. It's easily accessible and easy to find. After that, you need to locate the Sims 4 Creative Sim demo folder that would be inside Electronic Arts. Or, if you have The Sims 3 installed, it will be in, inside the same Electronics Arts folder. After you find that, click on it. Inside that folder, there is a Mods folder. Inside the Mods folder, this is where you start to put your custom content. I already have my stuff ready to go so I will do not need to create a folder but just for you guys' sake I'll show you what to do. Um, first things first, do not ever move the CFG file, resource file, into the packages folder or anywhere else. Leave it inside the mods folder. That is where it will stay and that's where you need it to be. So do not move it, don't mess with it, just leave it alone. That's something you do not need to worry about in this particular game. Okay, so now that that's there, you will not see that packages folder there, so let's just uh, move it out and, you know, it's not there, okay? It's not there. So I accidentally clicked on that. It's not there. So this is what it should look like for you. Now, new folder, folder, packages. That is what you need to name your folder. After that, open it up, add your custom content into it, or mods, and there you go. Um, so I will get, I will show you what I have installed in my game, I guess, um, just to show you that it works. I'm not just saying all this to get views. So yeah, I will be back. As you can tell, I moved my real packages folder into the mods folder. See, this is all my mods and, and custom content that I have installed for now. I just kind of got into it, uh, today. So I'm going to show you that it works right here. There you go, custom content at its finest. The background, no blurred thing at the bottom where you know they have like the little shadow. And a custom content shirt. See, it's basically so simple and it's easy for anyone to do. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys whenever I make a new one. Bye!